Hello and welcome to this week's devotion. Today, our focus is on finding God. We will explore the topics of finding God's love in the midst of trials and finding God in a world full of hate. Finding God in the midst of trials. Consider it pure joy. My brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. John chapter 1 verses 2 through 4. In life's journey, we often encounter storms that test our faith and resilience. These trials can leave us feeling lost, overwhelmed, and questioning God's presence. Yet, it is precisely in these challenging moments that we have the opportunity to draw closer to our Creator and discover His unwavering love and strength. God is present in our pain. Remember that God is not distant during our trials. He is right there with us, offering comfort and guidance. Psalm chapter 34 verse 18 reminds us, The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Understanding God's presence in our pain doesn't necessarily make the pain go away, but it can dramatically change how we experience and navigate through it. It reminds us that we're not alone in our suffering and that our pain is not meaningless. God is with us, working in and through our circumstances to bring about His good purposes in our lives. There is growth through adversity. Just as gold is refined by fire, our faith is strengthened through trials. These challenges shape our character, deepen our dependence on God, and equip us for future service in His kingdom. It's important to note that growth through adversity isn't automatic. It requires a willingness to learn, a reliance on God, and often the support of a community. The growth process can be painful, and may not always be evident in the moment. Sometimes, it's only in looking back that we can see how we've grown through difficult experiences. There is power in our perspective of the situation. James encourages us to consider trials as opportunities for joy. This doesn't mean we enjoy suffering, but rather we recognize its potential for spiritual growth and transformation. Shifting perspective doesn't happen automatically or easily, especially in the midst of intense pain or loss. It's a process that often requires intentional effort, support from others, and a deepening relationship with God. Our perseverance during our trials lead to maturity. As we endure trials with faith, we develop perseverance. This steadfastness in turn leads to spiritual maturity and completeness in Christ. Perseverance doesn't mean enduring silently or alone. Biblical perseverance often involves crying out to God, seeking support from fellow believers, and actively engaging in spiritual disciplines. Today, identify a current trial in your life. Take a moment to pray, asking God to reveal how He might be using this situation to refine your faith and draw you closer to Him. Consider journaling about this experience noting any insights or moments of peace you receive. Remember, our God is faithful. He promises never to leave us or forsake us. As you face your trials, cling to this truth and allow it to anchor your soul in His unfailing love. Finding God's love in a world full of hate. Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. 1 John chapter 4, verses 7 and 8 In a world that often feels consumed by hatred, division, and darkness, it can be challenging to see and experience God's love. Yet, as followers of Christ, we are called to be beacons of His light and love, even in the darkest of times. God's nature is love. When we struggle to find God in a hateful world, we must remember that He is the very essence of love. His love is constant, unwavering, and ever-present, even when it's hard to perceive. This foundational belief that God's nature is love shapes much of Christian theology, 
worship, and practice. It provides a framework for understanding God's actions in Scripture, His relationship with humanity, and how believers are called to live. We are called to be conduits of God's love. In a world full of hate, our mission is not to retreat, but to actively spread God's love. By loving others, we not only reflect God's nature, but also experience His presence more deeply. This concept challenges believers to actively live out their faith in practical, love-centered ways. It's about embodying the love we've received and passing it on to others. Love is a choice and an action. It's easy to love those who love us, but Christ calls us to love our enemies and pray for those who persecute us. This radical love is a powerful witness in a hateful world. Love as a choice and action is particularly powerful in a world where love is often portrayed as just a feeling or something that happens to us. It calls us to a higher standard of love that can transform our relationships and our world. God's love transforms. When we choose to love in the face of hate, we participate in God's transformative work. God's love is a transformative force that changes us from the inside out. It offers us new beginnings, softens our hearts, renews our minds, and empowers us to love others. As we embrace His love, let us be mindful of the incredible transformation it brings and strive to reflect that love in our daily lives. May we always be grateful for the profound impact of God's love and continue to grow in our relationship with Him. Our acts of love, no matter how small, can be the catalyst for change in someone's life. Today, choose to respond with love to a difficult person or situation in your life. Ask God to help you see that person or situation through His eyes of love and compassion. Let us go to God in prayer. Dear Lord, in the midst of life's trials, help us to sense your presence and love. Grant us the strength to persevere and the wisdom to see how you are working in our lives. May we emerge from our challenges stronger in faith and closer to you. In a world often filled with hatred and division, help us to see your love and to be vessels of that love to others. Give us the strength to choose love over hate, even when it's difficult. May our lives be a testament to your transformative love. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining us for our midweek devotion. Please join us next week. In the meantime, have a great week and remember God loves you. Now. Go be the light and share that love.